G'day guys, Big Al here, and are you ready to witness history in the making? Watch this. That was it. Do you want to know why? That's the first time this year that I've touched this particular brand's driver, and it's September. Not my fault, no. Montage, come on. It's September and I'm reviewing a Cobra driver. This should have been January, February, at the very latest. Well, I suppose the earliest as well, because, you know, embargoes? <laughs> embargoes. But this is one of those that's, well, due to certain circumstances, not my fault, but also my fault in terms of it's just, a, it's a club that's gone away. And it's sat here looking at me pretty sad because it's a rather sexy looking golf club and I think it's gonna do some serious damage in here. And that's, of course, is the Cobra Dark Speed LS driver. Now, we've had the other drivers, I didn't really want to show them because they, they arrived in some absolute banged up state, so not really, not really wanted to show that, but this has come brand spanking new. It looks the absolute baked beans. Dark Knight, it looks very limited edition in the finish, and I'm very excited. It, that excited I can't talk. I'm very excited to test this today. Now a brief segue to our channel sponsor, Swing Tweets. I could not do this without them and they could probably help you hit the driver a little bit better too by downloading their free app available on Google Play and the App Store. I can't express how easy this is to simply just record yourself down the line in the app and face on. Send your video with notes on what you want to change, what the problem's been to a fully trained PGA professional who will get back to you within just a few hours. Full video swing analysis notes and drills that you can take to the range to get better. All for the price of 24.99 US dollars, 19.99 Great British Pounds. To make things even sweeter, if you use the code TMAL on your first ever tweak, you'll get 20% off. Trust me, give this a go. Yes, yeah, so we've done the majority of 2024 drivers, but this one definitely slipped through, through my crack. Why does this happen to me? Does this not happen to anybody else? <laughs> How did this slip through the crack? Great. There are a few things I'm certain of, but these are some of them. Five plus 10 is in fact 21. You stupid. That's not very really nice. But joking aside, Cobra drivers, well, they work. Down at the ball, it looks like the uh, Long Tom prototype, which I tested a while ago. It's like almost unfinished vibe. I mean, it's completely matte black. It looks like it needs a coat of paint, but I love that. It's no stickers, no decals. If this went into the Pimp My Ride shop, it'd get absolutely battered with stickers. So thank goodness it's not going in there, but it's beautiful. The shape is lovely. It's quite long, back to front, conage, conage, a bit of conage on the back end, quite triangular towards the end, but I think it looks absolutely stunning. Right, we're all ready to whack-a-mole because I am. I've kept this at nine and a half to start with. Lovely, lovely driver look, looking thing. It's so, so smart. Behind the ball. <laughs> lovely soft feel, feels very fast. And it's very fast. <laughs> I uh, didn't get all of that. 2,209, bringing the LS to the page. 313 opener. Stiff as a board. This thing is massive. I mean, you can't have a name like Dark Speed and be slow, can you? Let's be honest. I mean, it's quite smart though. The marketing campaign should have been this. It's dark and it's speed. You just don't know how fast, do you? <laughs> smart. I see. I see. Before we get into as to why this driver is so special and why it performs so well. Can we have a quick shout out to the limited edition range by Cobra? I mean, I don't think anyone does it better. I love the tropical um, palm tree, palm tree range. Love that range. I've got one back in Australia. I just think that's incredible stuff. Then you've also got the masters, but not masters range as well, that green and gold. Stunning, it really is wonderful stuff. So LS on dark speed LS goes without saying means low spin like other models. So this is obviously designed for the faster club head speed. We generate a lot of energy, and this is designed just to slow that down a little bit more in terms of RPM, so the ball goes forwards and not up. 
So dark speed is the range of driver. I've got to say I do prefer the LS, the complete all black look. I think the blue and the reds look a bit, a bit different. I've got to say I'm not a huge fan of that. I think this there is absolutely, yeah, nine out of 10 visually, stunning. So if we get a bit more launch, a bit more speed, faster, hit it better, hit it longer, it'll go further. Oh, that's very Terry. Watch this. This could dip out the air. That's impressive. That was a drop kick. I just, I just drop punted that. That had every every right to do 800 RPM on me. Such a powerful flight. So like more previous modern drivers with Cobra, they have used the aerospace engineers to try and craft something very special, which I find very interesting. It's a great story and obviously it's working. Cobra said it's allowed them to harness extraordinary speed and distance through a more streamlined design. So it's making the most out of the shape to get obviously optimum performance. So Cobra drivers were always very adjustable, but now we've got an added adjustable weight on the sole of the driver. So we've got the fade and the neutral options at the front of the driver, so the toe and the heel. And then we've also got an added back weight so we can opti optimize and switch those weight weights around. Follow there. <laughs> switch those weights around to, you know, tighten the dispersion, correct the shot shape. You know, it's completely up to you what you do with these. The fitter will do the majority of this work, but it's a great little feature to have to really dial it in. Oh, I've still got the sticker on, just noticed. Just to, you know, support my, I've not touched this yet. Oh, it's even better looking with a sticker off. That was a better swing. 325, left to right. Ay, 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 ay. It's such a soft feel, I can't really explain it. It's just so satisfying to hit. Eighteen hundred RPM, get that down, yeah. Three twenty-four. So a lot of adjustability again with the modern Cobra drivers. We've got the nine-degree head here. We've got the option though to knock this down to seven and a half or all the way up to ten and a half in one head. Bringing the ball speed, we've got an internal power bridge which maximizes spin and improves energy transfer through the ball. A ten percent larger power shell L-cut face creates more robust distance with a HOT face for efficient speed and spin across the entire face, including those common miss hits. That we're talking about. Even though we've got the nine degree head, there is also a new eight degree option, which is so tempting. So tempting. <laughs> so 178 ball, 318. 124 club head speed. Come on. I see ya. I see ya. You're still in there, aren't ya? Oh, stop. Stop it. Oh, I Could be in, it's in that mansion. Oh, yeah. Misread. That went, that went straight as well, what a shame. That went so far and long. <laughs> Could this be a contender for the bag? The short answer is yes. The only thing I'm not overly sure about is, I look down at this, it looks very raw, very, I wanna hit this a long way. I don't get, and, uh, I mean, it's, it's been very forgiving, consider, considering where I've hit it on the face. And I don't get a very, I'm gonna hit this down the fairway vibe. I get, I get a more clenched fist, I'm gonna bash this, which is not something I really want to feel, because I'm gonna lose a lot of balls. Again, not my fault, that's purely the driver. That's just, that is, that's, that shot there is, that's it. Come here. Come on. Come with Uncle Al. Come look at this. Come on. This is, what, this is what I do, you see. This is, 
Come and see, it's like bringing your kids to school, school day, isn't it? Bring the light, look, bring the light over so it gets a bit lighter. That's how it works, you see, that's what light does. I'm gonna focus heavily on that last shot, actually. Um, 321.7, so 322 total, 301 carry, um, 123 club, 180 ball, 322 total, 28 spin. Now, as far as numbers are concerned, <clears throat> that is, Maybe knock a wee bit off the spin rate there, but the fact that we've got 2816, that is a very stable ball flight. A lot of this, a lot of these revolutions, which stops, well, it makes it harder to do this in this revolution if the club face is square. So a lot of assistance there, keeping that straighter for me. My drive is usually a lot more right to left, especially with the lower RPM, a lot more volatile flight. With the 2816, that's kept it on a straight and narrow and be a very, very good forgiving driver for me, despite what I just said <laughs> in regards I want to bash this to the moon. So maybe more testing to do. I'd like to take this out on the course, see what the flights look like, but I've got to admit, I feel bad that I've not tested it until now. Feel-wise, I, I, it's going to be my number one this year. Obviously, we've got a bit of a mixture, but a lot of these were fantastic, I've got to say. These are the last few. That one was a bit right to left, dropping spin. But overall, it was a very solid experience that I will want to continue and test. Had I not even thought about it going in the bag, yeah. I had, I, I, I'd kind of written it off this year because I'd not tested it earlier, which is absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, if you've tested it, let me know how you got on with the driver. Did it go in the bag or did something else beat it? Um, always love to, love to hear from you. Thank you as always for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you've not done already. And I'll see you next time.